Hi, this is Justin from CompCart with another pro tip and we're going to show you how to remove and install a new bearing in your front hub. First question is why would you want to do this? Well, a couple reasons could be if your front hub isn't rotating properly on your stub axle, if you hear when you go to spin your front hub you hear a knocking sound or it's dragging a bit. Um, this can all, these can all be issues from a bad bearing. Um, so we've identified it was one of those problems. We're going to go ahead and change the bearing and uh, put a new one in. So first thing before we get started is we need to identify what size bearing we're removing and installing. You're going to have two types of bearings in terms of inner size. You have a 17 millimeter or you're going to have a 25 millimeter doesn't stop right there because although you've identified the correct inner measurement, the bearing actually has two other measurements which is going to be the thickness and the outer diameter. For instance, this is a 25 mil bearing and this is a 25 mil bearing. Both have different outer diameters and the thicknesses are different. So I suggest that you check with your chassis manufacturer, your local shop, just identify that you're ordering the correct bearing. Now that we assume we've ordered the correct bearing, it's time to remove the bearings first. So we have a CompCart magnesium hub here, which I've removed the rear bearing already. Um, so we need to remove the inner bearing next. Well, in order to do that, we actually need to drive that bearing out stud side. So in order to do that first we'll have to remove this centering ring. I'm going to remove this centering ring in the exact same method that I removed the rear bearing. If you have, I'm going to use a steel drift tool. Um, if you have a T-handle or anything steel, something similar, that will work just as well. So we're actually just going to come in here with the steel hammer. We'll slide the drift tool in there. So it gets on the back side lip of that centering ring. We should just be able to tap it a few times and it should come out. I think we got it. Yep, that'll pop right out. Some, some hubs are actually even plastic and you can pull them out. So now that we have that removed, we have you know, no interference in driving this bearing all the way out the front side. I'm going to use a special tool that we have here that sets inside the bearing, specially made for 25 and 17, and we'll just go ahead and give it a couple hits and that'll drive that bearing straight out. So we just slide it right inside the hub like so, give it a good whack, and the bearing comes straight out. Now we've identified we have no bearings inside of our hub. Before we reinstall everything, I always recommend that you go ahead and clean up the inside of your hub. Make sure that you don't have any burrs or any notice any anodizing that's missing. Um, those are kind of telltale signs that maybe you have a bigger issue with that bearing and it's went on for a while. You, if you have that, you might want to think about even replacing your entire hub. We don't have that right now, so I'm just going to give this a quick wipe and then we'll go ahead and reinstall with new bearings. So now that that's kind of wiped clean, we'll go ahead and reinstall the same bearing that we took out. We're actually, we took it out this way, stud side, we'll go in stud side. So you just want to grab your bearing, your new one, don't accidentally put your old one in. Sometimes it'll slide in a little bit, sometimes it won't. Once it's slid in, you're going to want to take your tool or a tool similar to it and you'll want to drive it through until the bearing comes up on the inner ledge. There's an inner ledge on the back side here, if you can tell, and on the inside on the front side that you press the bearing down all the way up to that ledge and that's where it stops. So we'll go ahead and tap this down. You'll kind of feel it hit that ledge. Yep, we got to the ledge and then you stop. We're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna grab our, back, our new backside bearing, gonna do the same thing. We're just going to set it in just enough to where when we hit it, it goes in evenly. So we set it in. We'll set the tool. We'll do the same thing right up against the ledge. Now we got two brand new bearings in our hub and we're essentially ready to go.